So to assess the uh, effect of heat on productivity is difficult to measure in, in research. What we see in uh, macro research uh, is that we measure uh, easily measurable outputs, such as uh, uh, manual labor work, but it's higher to capture this really cognitive demanding work. Um, in experimental research, we see a lot of effects, but these tests are often difficult to generalize to, uh, to real-life situations. Um, to substitute this problem, what we do now is we ask people to set how satisfied they are, how comfortable are you in the situation, with the uh, underlying hypothesis that if people are less satisfied, they are less productive in real life. Um, we propose a different measure, so we propose to test uh, decisional quality using the, the framework of uh, Kahneman and Tversky. Um, we hypothesize that people will be less, um, will, uh, will, <laughs> will perform more intuitively, that's it, will perform more intuitively and less uh, on the, the slow um, uh, rational side when they're under heat stress. Um, we put people in a lab, we put them in a lab for 28 degrees, we put half of people in a lab in, t in 22 degrees and we test these tests. What we see in the results is, uh, first, uh, there's a difference in gender and satisfaction. So we see that men are significantly less comfortable in a hot condition, and we also see that men are significantly predicting this temperature to uh, uh, significantly um, uh, influence their performance. For women, we see no effect. Women do not differ between the two conditions. When we look at the actual decisional quality tests, we, see al we also see no difference. Um, this means that women are accurately predicting uh, the condition, however men are not accurately predicting the condition. Uh, we see the same with risks, so we also measured uh, risk behavior and how risky people thought that they were, and we see there again the same thing. Women are more risky, but think that on general they are stable over risk. Men are not more risky, but they say that on average they will be less risky in a hot condition. So what we conclude from this is, uh, unfortunately we cannot um, uh, verify that decisional quality differs between conditions, but we do find that the satisfaction measure only is a partial solution to the problem as for only women are very accurate and men are not. So this still leads to a nice area that we have to investigate looking for the effect of temperature on performance.